Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. It's my birthday! Yeah, I, uh, I turned 58 today. Amazing, eh? You know, when you're a kid, you never think you're gonna live this long. And then once you live this long, you can't believe how much everything hurts. But, what are you gonna, what else could you say? Anyway, folks, I'm still working on the 1983 ATC Honda 70. And this is kind of a series, so most of you probably know this. But um, this is the Pitbull Chewed Bike. And what we got going on here is I finished cleaning up the front fender, right? Not too bad. And I also spent some time on the back. And it's basically done at this point. You guys could see I tried to maintain this line here, this this line. And I tried to maintain the ridge on the back, though down here it kind of got chewed off. And you guys could see there's still there's still some chew marks there. But as you look at it, just to give you an idea of I mean that's how much was here. Uh, so it doesn't doesn't look too bad if anybody says you know why didn't I trim more outward well quite honestly that piece of the plastic wasn't there right that corner just wasn't there I really didn't take all that much off of there but you guys could get an idea of how much had to come off to clean it up but it actually I think looks really looks pretty good in the in the back here Right, not not bad at all. Um, I'm kind of working up on a tire, right? You, you know, like a real genius. This is the way people are supposed to work. So let's put this down for now. And if you guys want to see some magic, check this out. I found the seat. So there we go. Um, obviously I have to take it apart and finish putting it together but how quickly is this working out and I have a front tire still got the little knobbies on it and a tube and it's actually the right front tire it's OEM so I can either, you know, put a tube in this tire. Um, it's not holding air right now. The back two are holding air. Or I can replace it. Uh, once I take it apart, I'll, fi I'll figure out what I'm going to do. Um, this is still... You guys could see it's still in just, just a touch there. I'm probably going to have to heat gun that. But I think, I think she's, really, she's really looking... Looking pretty good. I think this is going to be, a, you know, a nice looking bike. Um, I don't really know. The gas tank doesn't feel. It doesn't feel too bad on the bottom. I know it's rusty inside, so maybe that's even going to come along. And then we uh, we got it set up. Um, the bike's more or less complete. You can see he's got kind of a cob going on there. So what's next? What's next is I actually have to get it down, which is going to hurt because I got to pick it up and put it down. Um, and then I got to pull the plastic, pull the tank. Um, this is, I think, is that the recoil for it? No. It's got the recoil on it and it feels pretty good. So. That's one less thing to rebuild. It's nice that it's got the air cleaner. Um, this is moving along pretty pretty nicely. It could be uh, it could be runnable in no time. You guys know these things, especially in blue, go for sick money, right? Um, I mean, the brakes are still good. Uh, the carburetor's locked up. I might end up having to to change that, but I mean, it's got it's got the grips on it, the original switch. I mean. Um, 
you hate to look at it like this, but this is this could be uh, like one of the more valuable bikes. Uh, typically, these things, if if they're in nice shape, they 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 pull anywhere from eight to twelve fifty. So, um, you know, and if you got somebody after an eighty three, because that's the one they had when they were a child, and they, you know, they had it in blue, or maybe they have the red one, and they always wanted the blue one to match. Um, when it comes to the condition it's going to be, once I clean it up, it's probably going to be somewhere seven and a half, eight out of ten. I mean, a ten out of ten is like showroom, right? It's not going to be that. It's not going to be a nine. Even an eight, from a cosmetic point of view is in really really nice condition um it hopefully i can bring the carburetor and the gas tank back to life and if i could do that bring the carburetor and gas tank back to life um then it uh it'll it'll have all original motor the original tire well the tires will be original i don't think the front forks are bent it's kind of hard to get them without bent front forks. Now the front forks look really pretty good. And the handlebars look pretty good. So, yeah, it would probably be on the low score, a 7. On a high score, an 8. On a, out of 10. Right? I mean, obviously, I had to lose some plastic in the back and in the front. But um, it does have the original fenders. So... Not, not bad, not bad. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think it'll be a very nice looking bike, a nice little addition to the Horde. Unfortunately for me, I'm, I'm not selling it, so don't, don't think or ask. But um, I'm, I'm normally a guy who rides his bikes, and this, this one is going to be a nice one. So I'm not quite sure where I'm going to keep it. I kind of hate having bikes and then putting stuff on the seat because stuff like this happens when you put crap on the seat and let it sit there right so yeah I'm not I'm not, I'm not sure where I'm going to store it I'm sure I could have some volunteers oh you could store it at my house <laughs> anyway folks I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing so the uh, 83 ATC 70 it um Looks like it's grown a seat. It's got a solution for the front flat and um, pull string is there. The fenders are now trimmed up. It still needs to be cleaned up, right? So perhaps a little final trimming. Um, and I might even, might even, you know, buff them out a little bit. Though sometimes buffing them out makes them look worse. Um, we'll see, uh, but it's, it's coming along. I decided, by the way, as I was trimming, you probably could still see some some bite marks in it. Some people call that stuff patina. I I think it kind of tells part of the story of one of its owners. Um, so I did I didn't remove them, and for two reasons: back to tell them part of the story. And back to, I didn't want to remove that much plastic. I would have had to remove another full quarter inch in the front to bring that back and, you know, a full quarter inch here. So now, you know, I'm starting to get here. And even if I did remove that, I'd still have those marks there. So what's the difference if I mo move it all the way back and you could still see these marks or if you could see just a couple, even a couple there. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think, you know. Um, like, you know, subscribe, share, all those great things. I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing again. Remember, feet down, heads up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.